So, I'm about to introduce you guys to Rio the Young OG and RMC Mike, two of the best Flint rappers. We don't call them Detroit rappers, they're from Flint. Either way, two of my favorite rappers out right now. Lil House Phone put me on, I gotta say, I gotta say that, even though he's gonna be mad that he's not actually here for this interview. But, you know, we'll probably do another one in the near future, but uh, let's meet these guys. How you doing, baby? How you doing? I'm good. What up, Mike? What's up, how you doing? Nice to meet you, too. Getting it in early in the morning? Early in the morning. Yo, let's get the fit check going on right here. Yeah, Gucci A. Going live right now. I'm just chilling though. <laughs> so this is your uh, your first kind of bigger interview, huh? Yeah, no. Yeah. I'm pretty excited to be here. Uh, I got one with Say Cheese when I get back to the D. Oh shit, all right. So we got to get this out fast. Beat Sean Cotton to the punch. Yeah. Hey, introduce us to Mike too, for anybody yeah, who don't know about brother, Mike. Yeah, RMC Mike, the, Mr., the nigga who originated the bitch word. Yeah, yeah him. Dumb and dumb. Yeah, I can smoke black and miles from you? Yeah, hey. yeah, of course. Yeah. That's the only thing you can smoke here? Yeah, yeah. only black and miles. That's our policy. <laughs> It's an awful lot of runs. Shout out my boy Desto. Yeah, I, 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 I be using my Mentos. See, since we closed the store, now people come to town. They go downtown. They got to go to the truck. <laughs> link up with Desto. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the world. And today I'm in here with a couple of my favorite rappers in the game right now. The one and only Real the Young OG and his man RMC Mike. How you guys doing? Get up, boys. All good. How you doing? Great. Yeah, um, very excited to have you guys in here. That, that was a fire interview. You gotta go capture that because they were talking that shit. I gotta take a piss. So much. Mike <laughs> nodded off on camera. Don't did piss he? It up. Yeah. Oh man, I thought you were about to at one point. I was, but I could, that's why I kept talking. <laughs> Mike did it. Though. Mike did it. Keep that on there. I didn't even notice. That's crazy. That ain't the first time that shit has happened. Right there, you didn't get a full night's sleep last night? Hell no. <laughs> no. That's what time are you now? We drank twenty. Six lines of walker. What's up? Bracelets. Every color you can get in jewelry is on the wrist. How the interview got on? Oh, it went well. Very went well, very well. It's like two hours of just straight drip. Oh, y'all needed to meet us. Yeah. I feel I'm like open up a lot, so you special. Man. I appreciate it, man. That was it was an honor, honestly. Like Rio was just going crazy. He said Mike took a nap. I didn't notice. But. Yeah, Mike had to take a nap. Yeah. This cup dirty. <laughs> Serious. <laughs> Shit. Nice, dude. Oh, thing, man. I gotta fucking get some kind of carbohydrates in my body right now. Who we got over here? Estevan Oreo. He's like a legendary LA. Uh, photographer and artist and shit. He's like worked super, super closely with Mr. Cartoon throughout his whole career. I did the interview with Mr. Cartoon a couple of years, well, maybe a year ago. So it was only a matter of time. And he actually just helped Mastermind make the documentary. LA original. So an amazing documentary on Netflix that so you should all go watch. It's about the feel like. How are you doing, good, man? Good, how about you? Excellent. Just excited about this one, too. This is a fucking crazy day. Yeah, my daughter's only like, well, I guess I said I fell on air, but my daughter's like, Five days old right now. That's so crazy, yeah. Just did that. So this is my first interviews uh, back on the back on the grind. That's good. How'd the interview go? Oh, so good. It was about hour forty minutes. Everybody go cop this book. This is um, I just got gifted this and I'm incredibly honored. What's going on? So we got Black Zach in here today. We got a whole lot of ice on. Off white fur hoodie or some shit. I don't know. Kalisha came with her fur coat and her shiny you know. ass pants, you know. <laughs> Shout out to Free Lil Pink, no. <laughs> Zeta go, Adam, Adam, Zeta. Oh, shit. Nice to meet you, man. How you doing? Yes. What's going on? Epic, epic interview. Shout out my boy Adam. No jumper. Kind of like an athlete. They got no jump. Brick. Check it out. This is the first interview I did where I left with a new mask. You never right. get Corona with this. <laughs> never. <laughs> You'll never get it with this. We got Bam Man Kevin on here. This might be the richest person you've ever seen in this office, right? Look at this dude. Damn, the chain got way more ice here. He got the OnlyFans bag since we last saw him. $700 quick, five months. Up. Yeah, $700 OnlyFans in five months. What the fuck? Is this all OnlyFans licensed jewelry or what? Yes, sir. God damn. And that was crazy. I was realizing, I'm like, damn, if I'm going to be having bro, yeah, these if gonna, interviews, that's what I say, bro. Right, we got to have a different kind of contract next time. Yeah, bro. Yeah, I was just gonna say, if if she showed you, because I what I'm gonna do after you drop this interview, I'm gonna show you what I make. If I make a crazy bag, I'm gonna I'm hit you with something, for sure. If it goes like three, four hundred thousand, I gotta bless you, bro. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm gonna I'm feel like, damn, this is because of Adam, bro. Like, I dropped this and 
You know, I, I look out. I did the same thing with St. Cheese, though. I feel like after I dropped that For interview, real? man, my shit went up. I gave him like 20 racks. What? How's it going? Chilling good. He got Kristen Castle's mask already and shit. Right. That's what happens when you blow up. Right. Oh, you got mad wax around your neck? Oh, yeah. Thank you, yeah. <laughs> That's sick. Hard times. You remember how you were asking me or telling me yesterday that you were confident that Dogface couldn't actually do any tricks or anything? And that, only that's not what I. That's exactly. I thought that's what you said, right? He's a longboard guy. There's not a lot of tricks to do. I was saying, he said on the interview that he can skate and he can do tricks. Really? So pretty confident. No. Do some bird. I'll bird. I'll, I can outbird you. Really? Ooh. Damn. Let's go. <laughs> I can do some. Some what is it called? Some land shit. Oh, yeah. little Ronnie Bowling thing. Oh shit, the pipe. Oh damn, that was fire. Oh. Hey! See, you just had to One get in the groove of it right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw scared. Jesse Reyes like fell in the back of one of your videos. Yeah, was she okay for that? <laughs> she sat there for a good five, ten minutes. <laughs> She's like, I'm not okay. Just leave me alone. <laughs> I was like, all right. I was like, I got that though. That's funny. You just need to come with a warning, man. Don't try this at home if you're <laughs> not skate equipped. Be careful. For real. Get, get broke up. Okay. I saw a lot of people were saying that you guys like fake the Jesse Ray's no, video, and you're like, no, it's not yeah. fake. It, it was just so funny. I didn't even realize she fell till I was done. And I, oh yeah, I seen her go like this, and I was like, damn. But I didn't realize how. Yeah. Or she went down, man. She went all the way down. Uh, nice to see you. Sorry for the delay. No, it's fine. I live in fucking Long Beach. She had to get Gucci down. You live in Long Beach, really? Yes. Where? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no Jumper, coolest podcast in the world. We're here today with Kamaya. Yes, yes. Wait, the interview was fire. Kamaya, one of the few rappers where I interviewed her, and it makes me want to go listen to her music more afterwards, okay. which don't really happen that often. But uh, how, how was it? I had fun, actually. I'm a great fucking guy. Very intellectual conversation. I feel like it was a lot of game giving. Niggas better fuck with it. <laughs> Bro, I swear these two need to be in a rap group together or something. Will you guys do a song together? <laughs> I wait, I wait for her to sing it first. Hey, <laughs> she left them on red. <laughs> okay, today on No Jumper, Ad, tell us what we're doing. You know what? R.I.P. to my grandmother, Miss Giles. Um, we have a toy drive in honor of her today. I hit up my brother Adam. I said, hey, listen, bro, we're going to touch the streets today. He said, I'm about to get up, and we about to go into the streets. So we're going to go feed the community. And it's a great time of the year, and because of COVID, you know, some people are not having the best Christmas. So us over here, we want to make sure that everybody has a smile on their face and stuff like that. Um, Adam been telling me. For, for for months, he wants to do charity work and stuff like that. So I said, you know what? Come on here, fuck with my community. We're gonna sit there and give out toys, cookies, and put a smile on everybody's face. Fuck you, Grinch. We out here. We out here. here. The Grinch is an op. We smoking on the Grinch. Yeah. Then we got a skateboard right there. Dude, you might want to take that for yourself. <laughs> so we're just gonna go to um, the Compton Court building, and, yeah. we're, and we're, so everybody will be right there. So we'll do that, and then when we're done, we'll just we'll just come back over here. So we'll be good. I've been to the Compton Courthouse before. <laughs> For what? Ride bikes. <laughs> they got some rails there, man. Oh, I say, nigga, you went to jail? <laughs> no, 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 no. We were just riding. And then I realized, like, wow, we're in calm down the courthouse. This is tight. Find the uh, Bluetooth. Because, you know, usually, yeah. I got new phones. So hopefully it works. They got some cookies. Don't let AD yeah, that. Man, we got everything. We're going to get in the spirit. You know what I'm saying? Okay. <laughs> Yeah, let me dance. Let's go. Uh, <laughs> Christmas spirit. <laughs> we in the Christmas spirit. This is how he starts off his Tuesday morning. It's like not even 10 a.m. Let me dance. Let's go. How are you guys? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? How's it going? How's it going? How's it going? How's it going? Nice to meet you. Appreciate you guys for coming out. <laughs> <Every> day. <laughs> The other side. Oh, you got it! I did it! I told you I knew I could do it. It's dope, man. Especially in a time like with COVID going on right now, and I know a lot of families uh, not having the best Christmas and stuff like that. You know, find a dope. You know what I'm saying? Just a little small gesture. You know what I mean? Our appreciation and stuff like that. Um, appreciate everybody coming out. A lot of beautiful kids, man. It's dope. And I like that Adam bought the kandamas out here and everybody's around here. Going they going for it, man. Hey, we're we, we, we sparking up a whole new generation. It's like Tokyo out here. You put them out now? Yeah, I oh, came to put them out. Come on, let's do it. 
Yeah. Hey, bro, about to bring the horses out for us. So, gr growing up in Compton, you see horses all the time. I know come over there, you know what I mean? Um, my stepdad used to have a barber shop right there. I used to be down the street here all the time. So, you would see horses every single day. And, you know, it's not uncommon. That's one special thing about the city that people don't know. City so, of Compton, bro. Mr. Todd's Pony Parties. Uh, me and uh, Royal Divas, we do a lot of things together. You can look me up on her, her site as well. Hey man, we out here, man. Shout out to all the sponsors. You got Royal Divas Kidding Spa, you got Royal Spa, No Jumper, Arthur K. Wells, Hollow Tips, and Brothers with Autism. Thank you guys for supporting us today. Thing, you know, due to COVID, we couldn't do it the way we wanted to do it, but we have fun today, man. Um, shout out to everybody once again for coming out. Adam over here, he walking around kind of here. He's a he's a native now. He's been down here enough. You know what I've mean? been in Compton a million times. I'm, I'm, million I'm times. at home here. You know, this is where yeah, my people are at. You know. No jumper. We out. Like, comment, subscribe.